Hi people, today this is a review on Black Star 7. So this is the boot ROM. It's a long term test because this is Black Star 7 and I believe they're already up to Black Star 10. But uh, I like to do long term reviews. I don't like to do the reviews when they come out because I like to give you the experiences of actually using the ROM for a while. And this has been my driver for a while. So you got that regular unlock. Okay, so Black Star comes with this background, which is really nice. I like it says Galaxy Note. It has this like lines going through it, and also comes with Nova Launcher, which I'm using right now. It also comes with the Samsung TouchWiz one, which you guys already know, and it comes with the stock regular one that that came with the Note original. So you have all those choices. Black Star really is a ROM for people who like a lot of customization, a lot of stuff on there. Um, some stuff you may even call bloatware, um, but they tried to reduce the bloatware, taking out a lot of the AT&T stuff. But there's a little bit of uh, bloatware still. There's the file manager, there's uh, little things that I believe that, uh, you know, it's good and some stuff is not. Um, let's get into it. Let's go into the settings. And in the settings, you're going to see a lot of different things about it. Okay, so... We got the Wi-Fi, regular Bluetooth, all that stuff is normal, but here we go with a quick panel settings. This is new, okay? I really didn't use this too much, but I, I understand it has to do a little bit with uh, the widget buttons and widget button order. Over here you have the USB utilities. That's another thing that uh, you have different. And uh, it's just like a standard button to go straight to, uh, to connect to storage to PC. Um, there's a lot of different things. I mean, this toggle for the USB, I've seen it, you know, in uh, the developer options normally. But this is just how this menu is. Also, CPU Spy, it pretty much tells you where the cores are at, what's going on, how much CPU. For instance, it'll tell you if the CPU speed was most at 800 megahertz or 300 megahertz. 300 is like idle, you know, like when it's really not using too much. And 1500 is like when you're using intensive apps. So it'll tell you in a display for you how much uh, your CPU was at. So you could regulate it when you do overclocking. Because cause it's an ICS uh, ROM, does support overclocking. So let's uh, keep on going and you're going to see another thing called CPU monitor. And this is a more detailed version of, of the CPU, which apps were using, how much, at what speeds they were using the CPU, how often um, it was running it. I mean, it gives you a full display for people who are really into fi figuring out which apps are eating up their battery. It's a good thing and a bad thing because, I mean, I like it, but I sometimes don't like it because it's just, it's just stuff I don't use every day. Other people might use it, but I don't use it every day. If you want to figure out something, I guess for a one-time use, it's nice, you know? Okay, so now going into it, it has CPU Tuner. You can download this from the App Store, actually. It's a really nice uh, program. I'm going to do tests on it because you're, you're able to do backups. Uh, you're able to do um, CPU tweaks, uh, other tweaks like network tweaks. Um, here we go. We've got Task Manager, so you could, you know, shut down devices, kill all, for instance. I don't want to kill all now because I don't want to make it slow, have everything reload. You could start, stop. What start, stop is, is every setting that you've done, you, you could start it or stop it. So you could have this active or inactive. Um, let's go, you could have like CPU tweaks. So in the CPU, you could put the voltages. You could put, uh, this is the SD. It's going to analyze all the content of your SD. It's telling you everything about everything. Let's go to CPU. So here I have it at 1500 and I could lower it all the way down to 192 to save battery and I could raise it a little bit more to um, 1800 gigahertz and we have a reboot you know to do it on on reboots so if you reboot it will maintain those speeds for now I'm gonna leave it like that okay so we just overclocked it um, but to over to start it you just have to hit the start button and we have the startups which tell you which programs are starting up so if you want to eliminate some of those programs so there's a lot a lot a lot of a lot of things in here i really don't want to get into this because this program is not really um i'm going to do a review on this program i guess 
but this is not the whole uh, ROM. It just comes incorporated. But you get a lot of nice, really cool tools here. You can back up also to do new ROMs. So instance, if you want to back up all your app info, um, just like uh, Titanium Manager, you could do it with this app. If this is a good alternative. Um, fast dormancy, I believe they took that out because it was giving them problems. It was supposed to save you with batteries. Um, you get other tools uh, which enable to disable uh, ad blocking and also enable it if for some reason the app doesn't work. Install Netflix back uh, rotation, black rotation mode. X, install Nova, install TouchWiz. You know, in case these things weren't installed, you could reinstall them. Install S Voice. So you get all these extra tweaks. Even change the the country code, which is this is really great for people who are using international, because you know how sometimes you're trying to do internationally. We don't use the same amount of of numbers like in the United States. We use three for the area code, and then we use another three and four. In other countries, you know, they just use four numbers or they use five or six and then it doesn't match and it looks all weird. With this tool, you should be able to change that uh, into the country that you want so you get the right settings for that country. Okay, so all this we know, the call, the sound, all that's normal. Let's keep on moving down. In security, there's, uh, you know, it does have face detection. Uh, I'm going to show you it has face detection and it also has signature which is a new thing. Signature where you could use the pen and actually sign and use your signature or do a very simple signature. Trust me you don't want to do a long signature because to unlock your phone every time that's going to be very annoying. Um, it works and it has a backup so if it doesn't work you go down to a pattern or a pin and those two things are additional which I like. Um, another thing that I did like is, um, see this is the black theme. I believe they have a revert theme so you can revert it all back to the normal colors if you don't like the black. Because the whole idea of this ROM is to be very sleek, very black, kind of like a Windows 8 mobile. Okay, so we're going to go into About Phone just so we can see what it's all about. See we're using Android 4.4. Things that you could do with Android 4.4 versus Jelly Bean is that a lot of stuff, like I have the Note 2, and there's a lot of apps that don't work with it. I don't know, some certain games, certain stuff. Not everything is up to date on Jelly Bean. Um, so it's good to use Android 4.4. There's another great ROM, which is Padawan uh, 4.0. I believe they just updated that also check that out that ROM is a very slim if you want to make it as fast as possible and you want to just install the bloatware you want and install one by one then use Padawan if you want all these crazy options like the ones I showed you then definitely go with uh, Blackstar those are the two best ROMs right now for this phone they're the most stable because there's no stable version yet for Jelly Bean because the ones that have come out are not using official Jelly Bean and this is using the official ICS that came out with the phone. Um, this phone, you, as you can see, I have it overclocked right now, so you, it's pretty fast. Look at look at that. I mean, it's turning. There's some slight lag, but you know this is the best you could get from it right now. And uh, Voxer, other apps are working that aren't working in uh, Jelly Bean. So definitely check out this ROM. Check out Padawan also. I recommend both of them for people who want a very slim. Uh, fast operating system check Padawan and for people who like all the options modifications and every little tweak that you could do and have the bloatware already you know not the bad bloatware like the AT&T bloatware but the other bloatware like the settings the system tweaks and all that other stuff pre-installed then get Blackstar that way you don't have to download anything to clock, overclock it or anything else uh, to do all those tweaks it already comes pre-installed with the tweaks and all the loaders so, as far as what I didn't like about this uh, operating system, it's very stable, hardly ever crashed. Um, things that I didn't like is, um, I don't know, but with my original one, I used to be able to go up and down like this and lower the brightness. Other things that I did not like is that the swipe keyboard sometimes doesn't... Um, give you uh, the automatic spacing 
where you press a word and then it automatically goes to another space. Uh, this calendar pre-came with this black star which is another good thing about it. The uh, Google Now works on this one also on Potawan. How old is Clinton? Did you hear that? I think I had the volume low, but it did work. It did hear it and it does come up. It's a little slow, but it does come up. Um, there's also something particular in Black Star on this version where you could do like a miniature version. It really hasn't been that bad. See where it says S Voice, where it used to be S Voice? When you click this, it's actually Google Voice, but it's in a miniature. So now I can say, how old is Bill Clinton? Well, it, it said it before I even got to it, but whatever I, uh, I say, it's, it works the same way as the other one, but in a miniature version, that is fantastic. I love that. I love that about this ROM. <laughs> but the only things I don't like about this ROM is just there's too much things in the settings that I could just download from the Google Store, like all these uh, apps that I was talking to you about, like... Uh, system tuner, CPU monitor, a lot of this stuff. I mean, I just use CPU set and that's it. I don't need all that. Um, I use titanium backup. I don't use the other one they use. Um, besides that, everything else seems to work and everything is good. So, test it out. One of the best ROMs out there and test out Potawan 4 and you will both be happy. If you still want to go to Jelly Bean, the best jelly bean out there still is liquid jelly bean and I'll see you guys later on my new videos and ROMs on the Note 2. So please subscribe and like to see those videos. Uh, don't unsubscribe if you have the Note 1 because I will still do videos on how to get free apps, on how to get free music, on how to uh, use titanium backup and all other type of videos. See you in the future shows.